Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings today. I have a new microphone. But also, today, we are just a couple of days off from spring where we are, the vernal equinox. Um, or if you're in the southern hemisphere, the uh, autumnal equinox. I'm going to read it as spring, though, because it's going to be spring here. And it's, I mean, it's, it's a transitional period, so, but I am going to be doing a reading about new beginnings because where I am, it's spring. So even if it's not spring where you are, you can read, you can do these readings because it's about new beginnings and beginnings happen to everybody all the time. So I am using the Wildwood Tarot and the Birch runes, the Elder Futhark on Birch, um, because Birch is Burkana and Burkana has to do with new beginnings. So feel into the cards. One of these has a reading for you about, a uh, message for you about new beginnings in your life. So I will put the timestamps in the description and I will see you there. Bye. Hello, card number one, people. So I'm going to start by turning the card, and we're going to see what we're going to start with with this new beginnings. We have the Knight of Arrows, which is the Hawk. Uh, this is basically the Knight of Swords, so it's something to do with uh, energy and ideas, uh, thought, moving forward, driving forward uh, with fresh energy. Let's get some runes down in my birch runes. Yes, there's your driving forward. So I'm going to throw down the whole reading and then we're just going to go for it. <laughs> Doopy doo. How are you? <laughs> You're doing okay? Are things going well for you? I hope so. You know, things are pretty wild right now in the world and so good time for some new beginnings and getting on with things. Okay, so your central issue, card number one, people, um, is starting with Kaunas. Kaunas is the rune of the torch. It's the fire. It has to do with something that starts small like an ember and goes into a blaze. And things are wiggling, so I'm making sure they're not going to fall. Um, so something is opening out for you. It has to do with openings, like opening out and um, expansion. And also just basically, to a certain extent, illumination, but just basically shining you know, the torch in the direction you want to go. You've got lots of energy to do this with, so you're driving forward with these new ideas. Uh, leading up to this, you actually have been driving forward already, and now things are opening out for you. It's like the, the equinox that is coming is allowing things to open out, which is very exciting. Um, so what's going to help you is we have Urus reversed and Raido reversed. So Urus is the rune of the wild ox and this has to do with strength and health. Reversed it has to do with inner strength and inner health but also lifting Urus sometimes has to do with um, stubbornness. So when it's reversed, especially in the helping line, it has to do with sort of lifting up your hooves and not digging in and just letting things progress. So releasing any sort of resistance to what is going on and what is opening out and you're driving forward. Um, what this will lead you to is the ability to, I'm going to read this a couple of ways. We have Raido reversed. Raido is a journey rune, a journey, you know, your, your path forward, but it is reversed. Um, I'm seeing this as this will allow you to put to rest a previous journey, but also to deepen your current journey so that it's an inner journey as well as an outer journey. So that's basically what's going to help you is is uh, your own inner strength, your own inner health, as well as lifting up your hooves and not digging in. And this will help you, A, put to rest a previous journey and deepen the current journey so that it's an inner journey as well as an outer journey. What isn't going to help is if you are focused right away on, well, what am I going to get out of it? What am I going to get from it? We have uh, Yira, which is the rune of the harvest. It also has to do with time. So another thing that won't help is thinking about all the time you spent where you didn't do this and all the, what little time may be left, like you're worried about how much time has been wasted. So all that is sort of like, that could drag you down if you let it. And what it really comes down to is just worries about your energy levels. Like, do I have the energy to go through this at this point? Because maybe I should have started before. You had started before. Like, you couldn't have started started what you're 
you're doing now until now you were driving forward all along so it's not like you couldn't have it's not like you could have started what you're starting now before you had to get there so so try not to let that drag you down bring yourself back up to where you're lifting up any resistance to this you're not resisting the way forward anymore you're letting things open up in front of you and you're making this journey as deep as possible what your next step is going to be is <laughs> some terrible grammar on my part um we have hagalas hagalas is the rune of the hailstorm this has to do with uh the, it has to do with chaos and the things that are out of your control and also weather and also natural forces natural energies so i'm seeing this as things are opening out you're driving forward you're doing this you're, you're going forward into this it's very exciting and it's sort of you're stepping into the storm but this is what you wanted to do so so it's good like you're in, in you go into this uh, your nature and your storm and and all the good stuff remembering that weather it does not last forever it's it's always changing so if it's a real storm it's not going to be a constant thing um also it's you getting in touch with your instincts and your nature as well like our knight of arrows here what is going to help you is take it step by step um don't try to rush these things. This is something that, even though you want to rush, this is something that um, you're going to want to take step by step. You're going to want to be patient with and and just basically savor the journey kind of thing because you are moving between worlds. You're As this, as Rhytho Reverse shows, you are not only doing this as an outer journey, but you're actually doing this as an inner journey on the mythic levels, which is going to make it more meaningful for you, meaningful for you as you go through it. But yeah, see it as, uh, yeah, you know, maybe a long path. So pace yourself. You don't have to rush through it all the way, like, uh, like right away, like all at once. What isn't going to help is don't just give up and don't freeze just because it's a long path like just you know it's a long path but as long as you're taking that step after that step after that step you do, each step is your way forward and it will take a while but it's not going to be it, it it will take a while but it will take forever if you don't keep doing the steps and that's what this is saying it's isa which is ice ice is a standstill so in the non-helping line, it's basically what won't help is if you just maintain a standstill. If you see this storm and go, you know what, I'm, I see that this is going to be a long way through it. And I just, it's it's going to be long. It's like, yeah, but it's going to be long. But if you are doing it, then it's not going to be as long as if you didn't do it at all. <laughs> so take start taking those steps. Just basically take step after step through the storm. You will get through the storm. And on the other side of the storm, there is great support for you. We have uh, algae, which is the rune of the elk, also known as the moose. And this has to do with protection and support. And it's upright. So you will find your support at, by the end of this you'll be feeling very very supported and protected um, having come through this storm and being more in tune with your own personal nature as well as the confidence of having come through some pretty crazy weather and that's very exciting so there's your new beginnings card number one people i wish you very happy vernal equinox uh, joyous astara and happy spring and I wish you a lovely spring, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye! Hello, card number two people. So we're going to start with card number two by turning this over and seeing what we have. We have the Page of Bows. So this is basically the Page of Clubs, or Wands. Um, so it's somebody who's starting something new to do with... Um, like t your will <laughs> and your 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 drive and it's like a fiery kind of thing even though the page is air <laughs> and and is basically just so it has to do with it's always gonna and it may be like bringing like expressing something new to do with your will and to do with um you know your your fiery drive forward so let's get the birch runes out and see what they have to add so i'm gonna lay down the entire reading Oh my goodness, there is a storm that you are in. <laughs> and the storm could be you, so that's, you know, don't worry. <laughs> Generally, you don't want to worry anyway, but just basically see what is and deal with it. 
Alrighty. A lot of second appearances by some of these runes. They were in the previous, but in different spots. Doopy doo. And cool. Weird, but cool. Okay, so card number two, people. Page of Bows. Um, we are having a central issue of Hagalaz. Hagalaz is the rune of the Hailstorm. This has to do with um, the chaos and things that are out of your control and also natural forces, natural energies. And so I get just this sense of a lot of whirling energy around you. You're just really like in a, you're just like in a very excited mode to be out in this craziness <laughs> right now. You like, you want to start something new, but that you're like, it's like so much around you that it's like a storm around you that you're so excited about it. Um, leading up to this, you've actually just brought a journey to a close that you were on. You've just ended something. There was a, a chapter of your life that you just drew to a close and now you're just like really, really extremely excited. You're your nature is going wild, your weather is going wild, and you you want to go forward and start this new thing. Um, what is going to help you is we have Kaunas and we have Tivas. So Kaunas is the rune of fire, it's the torch, and it's something that starts small like an ember and goes into a blaze, so it's, it's an expanding and it's an opening out. So just definitely open yourself up. Um, what this is going to lead you to is your drive. Um, we have uh, Tivaz, which is Tears Rune, Tears the Warrior God, he has to do with tending duties and responsibilities, but it also has to do with driving forward, and I think that's what we're going to read this as in this particular spread. Um, you know, you, right now everything is just feeling crazy around you, so you just need to open up, and as soon as you open up, and as soon as you shine your torch, that will show you the direction that you want to be going through this storm, and you are going to have the drive then to drive forward with that, and just move forward, move forward with this new energy that you have. What isn't going to help is it's fear of the unknown, really. We have the blank rune. Uh, you're worried, you're chiefly worried about support. We have algies, which is the rune of the elk, also known as the moose, in the lowest, li uh, lowest line on the not helping lines. So the fear of the unknown is basically because you're not sure where your supports lie, but Bring yourself, if that starts to drag you down, bring yourself back up to where you're just being, you're opening things out and you're, until you see your path, basically, because this is the torch. So you're shining your path and you're, you're shining your light into the storm. And then once you see your way, forward you go. And that's what's going to help you. What this is going to lead you to is we have Dagas, which is the rune of the breaking of the day and revelations and illumination of your entire field of vision. So when you're focused on your way through the storm, this is going to fill your entire field division, as well as, since storms are not permanent, the the sun will come through and will light everything up, and that's cool. So what's going to help you at that point is we have Urus. Urus is the rune of the wild ox. This has to do with strength and health and groundedness. A little bit of stubbornness. So at this point, once things, once the storm clears, you're going to want to dig in, not dig in, dig in really hard, but like get your bearings, like stand strong, get your bearings. Just remember how strong you are and just sort of stand still in the sun for a little while. Let, you know, let your solar, solar planet, solar planet, solar, plan, solar plan, panels recharge. <laughs> what isn't going to help is we have Fehu. Fehu is the rune of wealth and worth. Um, it's basically you're going to have come through the storm and you're going to want to keep pushing forward but you and because you're like I'm, I'm of no worth if I don't do this yes you are just let yourself be still let yourself be still and strong and get your bearings and get your groundedness and then you'll be good um, so yeah bring yourself back up to that what this is going to lead you to is we have three saws reversed. So I don't like to leave you on this one. I'm actually going to pull a couple more runes for you because I don't like to leave anybody on a three saws reversed uh, spot. Basically, you're going to find yourself facing your really tough challenge. You're going to go through this, this you know new thing. You're going to push through the storm. You're going to get to the light. But then almost right away, and this is probably one of the good reasons for you to be grounding at this point is that you're going to be facing the, the, the thorn wall, basically. Thurie's Oz is always a challenge rune. Um, there we go. Thurie's Oz is always a challenge rune. When it's reversed, it's a very difficult challenge. It, when it's not reversed, you can just generally step through. It's just sort of psyching yourself up. But 
when it is reversed, it's it's something you have to find a way around. Um, what is going to help you is this is where you're going to let yourself become something new. You're going to rebirth yourself at this point. We have Burkana, which is the birch tree. Uh, this has to do with beginnings and birth. And this is going to get you over the wall, basically. It's like, what have you learned going forward so far? Now you can become this, starting this new thing, and that will get you over the wall. What isn't going to help is you can't just run through the wall. You can't just use momentum like a galloping horse, which this is. <laughs> this is Avaz, which is the horse rune. You can't gallop into the wall. You're going to get hurt. Um, it's, it's not going to work. You can't just push yourself through. You're going to have to grow yourself over it. So that's what's going to help. What this is going to lead you to is an absolutely new beginning on the other side of this wall. You're going to be able to let go of things that no longer serve you, and you're going to be able to step out of your comfort zone. We have Othala reversed. Othala is the ruin of the home and the homeland. Um, reversed, it has to do with letting go of what no, no longer serves you and also stepping out of your comfort zone. So you will be free of that. And that is your Ostara reading, your reading about new beginnings for this vernal equinox to be. I wish you a lovely spring and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, card number three people. So we're going to start by turning the card and seeing what we have. And we have the Ten of Arrows, which is really the Ten of Swords. But um, because it's the Wildwood Tarot, we have a different, slightly different read than the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the, you know, the whole exhaustion, but also recharging. In this case, the Ten of Arrows is instruction. So what do we learn? What do we learn from this? It's a, it's a time to learn. So let's get some runes down. There we go, very nice, yes. <laughs> that, that works quite neatly. So I'm gonna put the entire reading down and then I'm going to, the entire spread, and then I'm gonna do the reading. So let's get all of that in order. T. Vaz showing up in that spot again, which is good. So how are things? It's spring, almost, where we are. I hope you are doing well. <laughs> I hope you and yours are doing well. I'm growing some indoor plants and they're doing well. Okay, <laughs> so your central issue here for your New Beginnings reading is we have Ivaz, which is the rune of the yew tree. This has to do with patience, slow growth, slow development, step by step. You are taking things step by step right now, and that's because you are learning. This is a, a learning time for you. This is what is beginning for you. Leading up to this, you have recently... I'm going to read this a couple of ways. Some of you may have basically just slammed the door on the rest of humanity because you can't trust them and you feel betrayed by them and you've had enough. Others of you have gently closed the door on the rest of humanity because you want to focus on your own drummer and what you want to learn. Or a bit of both. So we have Manas reversed, Manas the third of humanity and your part in it. Um, it is reversed and it's on the path line. So it's Either way, you have turned inward and away from the din of humanity, and you are focusing on your drummer and what is leading you forward. So now you're taking it step by step. You're very careful. You're basically taking it. You, you know you've got a long road, but you know the steps. So you're taking the steps on your long road. What is going to help you is make sure that your needs are tended to. We have Nauthies, which is the of need. Um, it always means tend your needs. Um, it is not reversed, though, so it's not like an emergency. It's just basically make sure that your foundational needs are taken care of. The whole make sure your oxygen mask is in place before attempting to assist another kind of thing. What is going to help you there is, oh, well, that's what's going to help you, is make sure you've got your needs tended. But then this is going to get you into a nice routine with it. We have Tivaz, which is Tears Rune, Tears the Warrior God, and this has to do with tending duties and responsibilities. So it's just going to become a part of your daily habits, is just making sure that your duties include yourself, and just basically take, well, even just to taking care of the things that you need to take care of. So taking care of the things that you need to take care of, duties and responsibilities and needs. That's what's going to help you the most as you move forward as long as that's done as long as that's taken care of then everything else will fall into place what isn't going to help is you're a bit worried about surprises not even necessarily negative surprises but you're a bit worried about just anything that might come up that might 
give you a paradigm shift. We have uh, Paratho, which is the rune of the lot box. This has to do with surprises and fate. The surprises it has to do with are the su are surprises, but things that were always there, so you've just found out about them, and you're a bit worried about that because we have count as reversed, which says that what you're most worried about your, is your options narrowing. You have this path that you want to do, and there's a lot of potential, but you're worried that something will come up as a surprise that you hadn't considered, and then your options will narrow or dwindle. Uh, count as reversed. Count as usually has to do with an opening out or an expansion, but it is reversed and it's on the lowest line. So it does have to do here with at least fears of narrowing of options. If that starts to be the case, just bring yourself back up to where you're taking care of things that need to be taken care of and moving forward that way. What this is going to lead you to is a great challenge that you were leading towards. I mean, this is sort of like you've been taking the course and now here's the test. So, so you're going to hit this challenge that's going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be um, a proper challenge. We have the thorn wall, which is, uh, we have Thurizaz, which is the thorn, the giant, the gateway. It is reversed, so it's not an easy thing where you're just going to walk through the door. It's something that you have to find your way around. What is going to help you is once you find yourself facing that, Give yourself time to be still. We have Isa, which is the rune of ice. This has to do with standstill. Um, it's the stillness through which clarity comes. So don't try to rush the wall. Just basically give yourself that moment of stillness before the wall. And that may even, that alone may carry you over because you'll be able to work out what needs to be done to get over the wall. What won't help you is we have Ansu's reversed. This is where you're going to be doubting yourself. This is where you're doubting your inner communication. You're doubting your, your, um, the, the truths. <laughs> you're doubting the things that you thought were truth and you're like, you know, maybe everything I learned is not correct. It's basically the communication and manifestation and it's reversed and it's on the lower line. So it's basically, I mean, it also could be, you know, a lack of communication is definitely not going to help you either. But I'm really seeing this more along the lines of uh, sort of doubting uh, the communication that you have, the connection that you have internally that you, that you will be able to use to get over this wall. If that starts to be the case, just once again, bring yourself back up to where you're still. Bring yourself into a state of stillness before the thorn wall and you will get the clarity coming through and that will bring forward everything that you've learned along all these steps all the way along. On the other side of the wall, there's more support for you than you thought you ever would see. We have Algis, which is the rune of protection and support. It's the elk, otherwise known as the moose. And it's not even just inner support on the other side of this wall. It's like you are welcomed. By the time you get to the other side of the wall, you have a great welcome waiting for you. So it's, it's I mean, it's almost like, you know, you have decided to leave the din of humanity and start a course of some kind you're taking the course and it takes a while and then you have a test and it's a hard test but you get through it and you are greeted by i guess your peers and other supportive um people and systems so that's very exciting for you <laughs> card number three people i wish you all the best with this and i wish you a lovely spring or whatever equinox you are enjoying happy ostara and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, card number four people. So we're going to start returning the card and seeing what we've got to start our Astara reading. And we have the four of bows, which is the four of wands. It's the celebration. Everybody's having a party. In this case, there's a lot of fire, but the bows uh, wands are fire. So there we are. So a lot of celebration. Uh, you're looking forward to, I mean, obviously, you know, spring is here or coming almost, almost here. And, you know, you want to get out and you want to have spend some time because we've been, if it's, if it's been winter for you, you've been sort of in and you want to get out and you want to do some stuff. So it's pretty cool. Let's get, oops, what's that? Oh my goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. But that's okay. <laughs> There's a heck of a party going on. There's five people there. Usually you don't see five people in a four of wands. But it's a party. <laughs> so I'm throwing down the entire reading, and then I'm going to um, go from there.
Okay, your central issue right now is Nauthies. Nauthies is the run of need, and what do you need? So basically, you're tending to your needs right now. You're basically like, what do I need? Maybe you do need a party. Maybe you just need to get out and celebrate because it's been a while. And you have felt really like you've been alone. You've been... Leading up, we have Algis reversed. Algis is the rune of protection and support. It's the elk or the moose, and it's reversed on the path line. So it's you standing up for yourself. It's your own, you know, t your own protection and support of yourself. But it's also very lonely um, on the path. So you're like, I need this. <laughs> I need some this time. So what's going to help you is you're going to make it happen. Basically, it's it's going to be a challenge, but you're going to basically. Use what you have to control what you can. We have Ingvaz, which is the rune of Ing. Ing is the fertility god, another name for Frey. And it has to do with active creation. So you're going to be, you're going to actively get this going on. It's going to be, it's going to fall to you. Um, through that, it becomes a challenge that is going to feel almost impossible. We have Thurizaz reversed. However, it's a challenge that you embrace. I'm going to do this. You're just going to, you're going to embrace this challenge and you're going to do what you can with it. It's going to be awesome. So just basically, it, that's that's going to be invigorating for you, just the fact that you can do that. You're going to work on it, and you're going to control what you can, work with what you have, and then basically, it's my challenge. This is something that I want to do. It's my project. Um, what isn't going to help is you're a bit worried about negative surprises, and you're also a bit worried about stubbornness and lack of momentum, because that can lead to stubbornness. We have Peritho reversed. Peritho is the rune of the lot box. This has to do with surprises and fate. It could also have to do with discovering something about yourself that you don't particularly like or worrying about that. Or even just something about yourself that you're, that might throw things off for your plans. Um, but mostly you're just worried about negative surprises and uh, unpleasant surprises and also just the digging in that happens when there's not been much momentum. But if that starts to be the case, bring yourself back up to where you are focusing on your project, which is to work with this and just basically try to shape this into being, try to make this happen and see it as your joyful challenge. Um, your next step, though, interestingly, is we have uh, Manas reversed. Manas is the rune of humanity and your part in it. It is reversed on the path line. So there may be a situation where you're going to have to tune out the din of humanity in order to move forward. Um, you're, it could be a more intimate gathering, perhaps. You might not have a really big party, um, but you might even like have like a Zoom party. <laughs> But it's basically, you're going to listen to yourself on this. You're not going to be taking everybody else's, oh, you ought to do that, oh, you ought to cook the, you ought to cook your barbecue this way, blah, blah, blah. You're going to be listening to yourself on this. And what's going to help you is you are tapping into your source energy. We have Sovilo, which is the rune of the sun. This has to do with source energy, um, illumination, but basically whatever it is that always gives you energy, no matter what, whenever you turn to it, that's what you're going to turn to to help you through this. And you know, part of just doing this has been giving you energy, like having this plan, having this project has been giving you energy, and that will give you the confidence to keep going with what you're doing, with, you know, doing your own your own thing and not really listening to the din of humanity on this. Um, what isn't going to help is you're worried about the amount of time that's passed. You're worried about what little time there might be left. You're worried about what you have to show for this. It's the harvest rune. It has to do with harvest and also time. It's Yura. So it's just mostly fears because this is a very positive rune in the negative spot and that generally has to do with fears about those things. If that starts to be the case, bring yourself back up to just tap into whatever it is that gives you your source energy and that will help you get through this bit where like too many people are trying to tell you how to cook your steak basically <laughs> and what this is going to lead you to is a greater focus you're going to through this whole endeavor whatever it comes of it um it, you will have attained greater focus out of it we have uh, kaunas which is the sorry kaunas reversed kaunas is the rune of uh, the fire and the torch and this has to do with something that starts small like an ember and goes into a blaze but if it's reversed it generally has to do with um honing focus so just like you've just you've learned how to really really focus at this point you're not being swayed by peer pressure or anything at this point it's just basically you know, you're, you know how to focus coming out of this, and this has been a good education for that. Something new for you that you hadn't done before, which is to really devote yourself to this uh, project. And through that, you've had to say, no, you know what, this is, 
when other people with too many too many cooks <laughs> um, spoiling the broth, when other people are are trying to get their hands in there, it, it's not going to turn out the way that I wanted it to initially, and so. You know, we're going to do something that I was want, that I planned to do, and I'm going to keep in with my finger in the socket of. Please don't stick your finger in a socket. I'm going to stay with my with my, connected to my energy, what, what gives me source energy, and that's going to help me um, overcome this peer pressure thing that might be happening at this point, and that's actually going to lead to me having better focus than I've ever had before. So that, card number four, people, is your reading for New Beginnings for Astara, for Astara, for the Vernal Equinox. Um, I wish you a lovely spring, and I wish you, or a lovely autumn, if you are going into autumn. Um, I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.